Welcome to the video tutorial on Ask Kids, which is a safe search engine. Uh, in this video, you're going to learn about how to um, search on the website, how to filter certain sites, and also the different uh, parts of the sites that it has to offer. So we're starting off here at Google, and I'm going to type in Ask Kids. And we're going to come over here to the website, askkids.com. And with this website, you, it's very much like Ask Jeeves and um, in like Google, where you would you can type in something and you have access to a lot of the internet. Now the great thing about this, because it is for kids, is that it will filter a lot of the stuff that they shouldn't be seeing. So if you have a student doing a research project and say they're uh, learning about animal cells search for animal cells and it brings up a number of things. Um, it right here has a picture of an animal cell and a quick uh, summary of what it's like. Also has search results that are found on all different types of pages and has even over 10 pages of results. Another thing that it offers is that it has a bunch of images over here. So I can come over here and click more and it'll show me more images that it has of the plant cell and again number of pages on it so this is a really good resource because some search engines already have um, some pre-selected material but this really gives you a lot of what the internet has to, has to offer also if you look up here so we started here at the all page where it gave us the different websites but there's also video that they can look at and these videos are often also uh, filtered and so there can be anything related to animals or uh, any kind of cell in these different videos now another thing that ask kids has to offer is um, that you can really narrow down your search or expand it and it has suggestions over here or maybe different things that they're looking at so if they're looking for maybe how plant cells and animal cells are different or similar then they can click on plant cells and they'll have all of that right there um, and then also different parts of the cells now also one other part that this uh, that this search engine offers is that it has these hotspots and so that if you click on this schoolhouse it'll give you different content where the kids can come here and and look up and search within um, and then it also has different movies and games that they can look at now you may notice when you're looking at these movies and games that it has a filter by age option right here and you can filter it according to the age of the students that are going to be looking at it. So if you have some more upper elementary or, or third grade students, you can use kids or teens when you're getting into middle and high school and then advanced teens. You can use that too and that'll kind of let some more things through um, that maybe a elementary school student might not be allowed to look at or should see. Um, my final warning or caution um, would be when you are searching for something or having any kids on the computer that you're still monitoring them because no search engine is perfect. So if I come back in here and type in animal cells, you'll see that it'll pop up right here. So whatever a student were to type in will show up up there. So if you're walking around the room, you can see what they're going to be looking at. But the great thing about the way that this filters is if they type in something that they're not supposed to, it won't let them search it. Um, and so, but then again, not everything is, is perfect where uh, some things could get through that they shouldn't be seen. So that's why it's important for everyone to be aware of what can come through. So this has been a video tutorial on Ask Kids, and I hope that it helps.